All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do to track the results of your SEO campaign. I'm going to show you what I personally track for myself and my clients' websites and what tools you're going to need to do this. So my name is Mate Matic. I'm the founder of Dominate Marketing, where we get you results with Google Ads and SEO. So if you'd like us to do that for you, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do anything in this video, anything to do with Google Ads or SEO for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com and sign up there. Now, here is how I track the results of the SEO campaigns that I'm running. So basically there are three tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a rank tracking tool of some kind where you can put in keywords and track where they're currently ranking on Google. You're going to need Google search console and you're going to need Google analytics. I'm going to show you how to use all of these in this video. So firstly for the rank tracking tool, I recommend you get SEMrush because that's what I use. Now you can get rank tracking tools that just track rankings and do nothing else. And those are pretty good there are some good ones out there. However, the problem with them is that you're going to pay anywhere from 50 to $100 a month for the rank tracking tool when SEMrush costs you $120 or $130, I think it is currently. And it gives you a whole bunch of other stuff you can do like keyword research, competitor analysis, and all this other stuff that you don't get with the ranking tools. And so I would just recommend spending the extra $20 to $50 and just getting SEMrush. What I'm going to do is put my affiliate link in the description below. You can click that link and get a seven day free trial and test it out. But that's what I use for position tracking. Now, how this works is once you're in SEMrush, you can actually set it to track the positions of your website. Now, one thing with SEMrush is that it'll actually do this on its own. So if you put your website into the main search bar at the top, what it'll actually do is it will pull out the data that it has on your website and give you the keywords that it's found that it ranks for. As you can see here, it's found 325 keywords for one of my websites and it'll give you the estimated traffic as well. So you don't even need to run a position tracking report like a ranking report it'll actually give this to you on its own however this isn't exactly accurate because it doesn't pick up every single keyword so if you want to track specific keywords you're going after the position tracking report is good so what you would do is you would go there and you'd go into position tracking and it would get you to set up a report where you basically just hit add project and then it would ask you to input what location you want to set the tracking from what device what search engine and then you would just put your keywords in and then it'll create a report like this and then you can go into here where it's got keywords and view all the keywords you added to this list and see where they're currently ranking. So right now you can see here, I've got a list of keywords that I'm aiming for with this website. And you can see here, it's showing me the keyword. It gives you the search intent. It gives you the keyword difficulty score. This stuff is what you're not going to get on a rank tracking report. It won't give you all this. It gives you the position that you were in on the first date and the second date. So you can do comparisons. So like if you put it like previous 30 days, for instance, it'll give you the increase over the last 30 days. That's pretty standard with most rank tracking reports. You can see there it's all new. It'll also give you like the percentage visibility, which is not really that useful of a metric. I don't really look at it, but you get the estimated traffic that you should be getting from these keywords as well and the volume of these keywords, meaning how many people search them each month. So that's what this is good for. And then what happens is as you're working on specific keywords, it'll obviously report on where these keywords are ranking currently in Google search. So you can see right now I'm number one for this keyword, I'm number five for that keyword and so on. And so it'll give you like a live report of where everything is. So that's why this is important for SEO because because you need to know where the keywords you're aiming for are actually showing up on Google. Because if you're just getting nothing and none of the keywords are ranking, you need to know that so that you can adjust whatever you're doing. So this is like the first step of tracking when it comes to SEO. Now, the second thing is you want to set up Google Search Console. Now, I've made a whole video on how to set this up and how to use this in detail. I'm going to put a link above to that video where I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this. However, to give you a quick overview, basically this tool is a free tool from Google. You don't have to pay for this. And what it does is it analyzes your web website on Google search. Now this is only available this data to you if you connect this website to Google search console. So other people can't actually see this. And basically what it'll do is it'll give you the clicks that come from Google search, the impressions of your website, the average click through rate, as you can see here, your average position based on the keywords it's found. And what it's also going to do is give you the list of keywords that people actually searched to find your website and either get the impressions or the clicks. Now this is not the same as the position tracking I just showed you because you're going to show up for a bunch of different variations of keywords that you're not actually tracking. And so that's good to know this so you can see what's actually happening and where you actually show up for all these keywords. So you can see here, if you're getting a lot of impressions, but no clicks, basically that means you're not on page one yet. You're ranking somewhere further down for those keywords. However, they show up. What it's also going to do is it's going to show you the pages that actually rank as well and how many clicks and impressions you get for each page on your website. It'll show you what countries it comes from, what devices and so on. So this is obviously very important to know 
so you can see now like where you're ranking for which page and which page ranks for which keyword so for instance if you want to take a keyword like let's say this one and I can filter this so I can filter by just that keyword and if I hit apply it's actually going to tell me what pages rank for that keyword as you can see here which ones get clicks and which ones get impressions and now just so you know if you see something like this this typically means you might have a keyword cannibalization issue I've got another video on keyword cannibalization I'll put a link above that's also very important to know for SEO if you don't know what that is however that's just a side point here but you can see now all the useful data you get in Google search console which you need to know if you're trying to optimize your website so I highly recommend you go watch my video of Google search console now the third tool I highly recommend is Google Analytics so what Google Analytics does is it now tracks everything on your actual website so how many people go on your website where they come from and what they do once they're on their website so you can see here for instance I pulled up the same website it's telling me I've got 11 clicks that came from organic search since I set up this tracking you can see that five people came direct to the website and one was a referral which means it got referred from another website that linked to me in some way so what you can also do with Google Analytics and this is very important is set up conversions and what conversions allow you to do is track specific events that happen on your website so for instance on my website I've got a call booked and a form submit so every time someone books a call with me or fills out the form this gets triggered in analytics and it tells me that one somebody did it and two where they came from so for instance in Google search or I have my other website where people come from YouTube and book calls and then that will show up and tell me it came from YouTube and obviously this is very good data to know so you know where your actions are coming from and what actions they're completing so that you can optimize accordingly if you're running a website for a local business for instance you can track phone number clicks email clicks and form submits or you can track purchases for e-com stores I have guides on how to do that for Google Analytics how to set up tracking and conversions and put this all together with Google Tag Manager I'll put a link above go watch that if you want to set all this up but basically it allows you to track all these things once people are on your website so to summarize this the rank tracking and SEMrush will track on Google search and from a third-party perspective so basically looking at it and seeing where you rank on Google search and for what keywords and a basic overview of that Google search console is a more in-depth view of what's happening from Google search to your website almost like a bridge as it were what's happening between that as step that's happening there and then Google Analytics is tracking what happens once people are on the website after that so that's why you need these three and basically these are the three that I use to just track everything to do with SEO that gives you pretty much all the data you're going to need unless you have some unique case that requires something else you can also use things like Hotjar or other tracking tools which they'll track people how they're using your website so like where they're on the website what they're looking at where their mouse goes and things like that that can be useful too but for smaller businesses local businesses things like that I don't think that's a necessary step you can basically just do what I've shown you here this is the minimal cost and gives you like 90% of the data you need the other one is just if you're really trying to optimize things so that's basically all you need to know for tracking for SEO this is how I do it for most campaigns and this is the baseline setup that you can use that's not very expensive and will give you all the data you need so hope you guys enjoyed this one I'll catch you on the next one